Check it, man. Check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. Yeah, well, go on. Hey, man. We got a special guest, and I know I say special guests all the time, man. But I was talking getting lit up, man, today, man. We got a special guest, man. Say, so I I, I, I want to say he from Miami, but then I heard he, he in Atlanta. I don't know. He, hey, international, man. Check it, man. <laughs> international, man. Shout, man. PJF Shout is in the building, man. What's going on? I'm here now. Say, I, I, man. I ain't just Miami in Atlanta. I got ties in Texas, too. Say, what's up now? Watch them for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you got ties in Texas? Got ties out of Funky Town, man. Really? I know, I know a little bit about this. Oh, time. man, I thought we had him fresh, man. Then yeah. he, he already know about Stop Six and everything. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So what's going on with you, man? How, how's, how's it being in Texas, man? Man, so far, it's, um, I'm loving the weather, man. I'm loving the feeling, the vibe, the energy. Uh... I'm enjoying it so far, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to have you, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. so, so you know, I, I looked looked at a few things, man. Just um, you know, just uh, looking at, at at the work ethic, man, and what you've been what you've been doing, man. Hey, man, I love everything I'm seeing, I appreciate and it's that. independent. Definitely independently, man. I got my family, and my team behind me, but um, wow. as far as a major label, no, definitely not. We we fully independent. Wow, man. So, uh, you originally from uh, what? Originally, originally from Miami. Born Miami, Miami, that's what right, I thought. Right. But I, I was raised mostly in Atlanta, the city okay. of Atlanta, all over Atlanta, west side for a good part. But, okay. Uh, most part. I'm in the south side of Atlanta now. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I've been everywhere in the city of Atlanta, so I represent yeah, Atlanta yeah. in the totality. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I said, I, I, my father, he was out of here from Texas, Fort Worth. Oh, man. Yeah. Do you like Atlanta more than Miami? I was going to ask that. I mean, I, I grew up in Atlanta. I don't grown to love Atlanta, man. So, yeah. Atlanta you can nice. say that. I love Miami just as much. So it, it, I like the beaches in Miami. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. The weather. So, you get uh, the best of both worlds. Yeah. You can say that. Yeah, man. I tell you, man. It rained a little bit in, 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 in Miami. Just mm. stop. Start. Stop. Start. Stop. I'm, I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got that tropical. Yeah, world, man, man. the throw, man. Exactly. Right. But where would you say the music scene is better? Would it be Miami or would it be ATL? Man, ATL. Oh, yeah, time. definitely, definitely right. Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the ATL, man, every time. I got to, man. Oh, with the music scene. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. But so, Miami is known for having it, too, so you can't put nothing past them. In Texas, man, all, all, all three of these states are, are big in the music industry. Yeah. That's why I'm from the South. Going back to history, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Man. So I, tell me how you came up with the name. PGF yeah, shop. Man. PGF um that's been my um my family for a long time. It stands for put God first. You know, um, we've always had a strong belief in the high God, you know. That's always been behind us. So we always took that and ran with it. You know, um, became a family, put a bunch of um different organizations behind it. We got promotion companies, we got film companies, we got kennels. Uh, you can see PGF everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? It's and PGF that's funny because when, when I Googled it, I saw all of those names and I was like, oh, see, film? I, I saw all of that and I was like, okay, is this the same person or is this? <laughs> no, it's a multitude of us. We all branches of, um, of PGF, man. We all grew up together. Yeah. And like I said, we all just um, got business minded about what we were doing and took it to another level. Let's let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. Like where you know, I know you were, you went through. So I, looking at the other interviews, you know, from, from the outside looking in, you went through some time periods when you was locked up. And let's let's just go back down through there. Okay. Yeah. So how did how did coming up, young young man in Atlanta? Right. Because that's where you was really correct. Sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, that's why I caught my first case. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you cut this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's where that's where it first started off at where where you we did a little time and sat down for a minute. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, and and so ba basically, you know, is that where the music started at? Did you start writing immediately, or was it something that you caught on later on? I'm be honest with you, man. I was influenced by music by by at a young age, so I was always in my head with the music, but I never was no um 
just all out rapper. I would say that. Yeah. I would play with it. I would listen to other rappers impersonate other rappers just the pimp C. Like I love pimp yeah. Oh Chad, man, look at now there it is. That's the there it is. That's the punch word goes. right there. Right. Every time that happened, that, that whole show just happened. I need to get right. a horn or something. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Because that's the yeah. magic word. Yeah, that's the Pimp magic C. word. And, yeah. And, and when I Big listen, Pimp C fan. When I listen to Pimp C, I, I didn't feel like he was rapping. I feel like he was expressing he was himself talking. and talking. And that's that's how I look at what I do is expressing myself and talking. And it kind of feel good doing man, it. Man, when I hear it, when I hear it, to be honest with you, you ain't rapping like everybody else. You talking about something, man. And that's really a old that's a to me a old school way of doing it. It come across to where it's organic and it can help somebody. Right, right, that's right. that's important you got a to me. Yeah, got a yeah, it's got a message, and it's something that can take somebody somewhere. Right. and that that's important. You know what I mean? For me, I mean, because we all got our opinion. No, definitely, definitely. Um, music played in, in impacting me. The, the, the musicians I listen to, you know, they influenced me. So even though they spoke negativity in some rap, I heard the positivity in two. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I, I differentiated the two and learned from both of them. You know what yeah, I'm both sides of. The good and the bad of the rap industry. So, and when I listen to you, you know, because I, I know the Atlanta sound, I, it's different, man. It's it ain't different. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it ain't yeah, like I that. Get that. I get that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I ain't, ain't like that. I listen to everything and all that, bro. Yeah, I know. I'm checking like, it out to see, you know, who he sound like. Cause that's usually what a nigga do. They ain't gonna say that, but that's what they be doing. Right. He sound like this, but you don't sound like no nobody that I, you know, and I could put yeah, my. That's good. That I, I am saying. I don't, you got I don't a unique sound. Like sound. Yeah. That's man, and you, like I said, man, the, the that the song Charleston, that's what really flipped it off for me. Cause I right. well, I heard the Boosie one first when I when I seen him down there with you. When I seen Charleston down there with you. And then when he when he showed me that song y'all have together, the one y'all down there working on. Oh yeah. I got it yeah. right here. I had okay. it, I got that's it in my phone. That's statistics. I got it. But yeah. I, but the thing I'm saying is that song, man, it, another another banger in essence can help somebody. Right. And that's what I'm on. So definitely. you own the same thing I'm on, really. Yeah, definitely. I want to have a message in my music, not just all, you know, uh, about negativity. When I speak, I watch what I say, what come out my mouth. And um, I know I got to put that good energy out there to get that good energy back. So, so you know there's power in your words. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's power. Definitely. Like like, like when you say something, it really becomes you. And I've seen that with a lot of different rappers, for sure. Right. In negative, in negative impact. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they don't know the power of the words that they speak. Correct. And some of them don't care. You know? At least you do yeah. care. You yeah, know some yeah. of them don't give a damn. <laughs> I definitely have knowledge of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so when you first when you first started out, how did you end up going you to the studio, and how, how did it unfold? Oh uh, man, I had um, actually had violated um, my, on my last federal sentence. I, had, I was doing the rest of my time on um, federal supervision. I violated going in and out the state. Yeah, just traveling. Yeah, and, um, sat down that time while I was, like I was sitting down at that moment. Um, one of my good friends, Derez. Okay, hit. yeah, I yeah. see you and him got by. I done seen three or four songs. I ain't gonna lie, y'all right. y'all be working. Yeah, we working. That's my boy. Yeah, um, he had um doing his music thing. He was building his career, and I kind of seen how it was working for him. You okay. know what I'm saying? That time, like I said, I was looking for a way out. I was tired of being in the streets, tired of going back and forth for um you know bull, bullshit. To be honest yeah, with you, yeah, um, yeah. And uh, it got to the point where I knew I, I needed to make a change. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was. I was Ahead of uh, myself and, and my peers, I knew mentally, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just knew I wasn't where I needed to be or where I was. So I took the time and the, the mind frame to put it into this music, man, and take it seriously this time around and put my all into it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Don't, don't go halfway with it. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm out here and uh, I'm full, it's full time for me. Already. So is there anyone else in your family who does music or where did you get that from? Oh, man, I, I can't think of Nobody else in my family that do really? music, man. Um, I, I heard my dad was a great writer as far as writing his, his mm. penmanship with letters. My mama used to tell me he had good games, used to trick her and tell her all type of stuff. And so I guess it kind of came from from my yeah. dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. trying to figure you know out what where what it came from. Know. Yeah, but, um, yeah. It had it had to come somewhere, right? R right. And the first time you actually thought about rapping or writing, how old were you? Oh man, I, like I said, it was my, during my first prison sentence, I was probably about thirteen. Wow, twelve. I was in YDC Youth Center, um, okay, Youth Detention Center, and um, it came to my mind then about rapping and writing. I yeah. was writing lyrics and 
you know, I never got out and, and actually recorded them. But yeah, that's I what I was trying to get to. Beating on tables. You know, hey, man. Don't play, man. Mean. That's what we do. I didn't know they do that. Where, where was you at? Fact, fact, they do that. Where, where they do that at? I was in the... Um, um, you know, these niggas hey, down here. I just had a, I had a little cat on there the other yeah. day. Oh, yeah. I seen them beat on tables. I was in there with them. Yeah. Oh, they going to beat them tables and rap, man. That's what they going to do. You still got some? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember none of them rappers, but man, yeah, I still got all them, them right. I still got all them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything I wrote, I do. I Save, do. man. Hey, wow. that boy, you be isolated with time too. You, that's all you want. Oh man, Was, did you battle anybody in there? I, mean, I never got never into never got the into battle battling. rapping, man. Okay, just um, making some good, just just just, just hitting yeah, the table. Everything and writing. Was you writing while you hitting the table? Right. Yeah. That's, that's the way it go down. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, just speaking about what was going on in my mind and at the time in my life. That was basically all I wrote about and rapped about. Yeah. I never got into the battle rapping. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about other. That way in Atlanta and in Miami and stuff, they don't really they, do they battle rap like that down there. Them boys make good music down there. Y'all make good right. music, man. Right. They do, man. Um, like bangers. Like yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, they got it. They got it. Like. Um, um, them boys just got that, that hip to them, that yeah. soul to them, and it come out the way it is. That swag, I don't know what you want to call it. But yeah. Yeah, it's definitely there. Out of, uh, and it's been there for a while, you know what I mean? I, I've always asked myself about Atlanta, like how they, like it seemed like they, they might have their issues, but it seemed like some kind of way they keep the music going. Right, that's like the foundation. It's, it's, it's just, the foundation. It's, it's still rolling when it, whenever, it no matter what's going on, it seemed like they keep that, there's a respect there for it. I can go for that. You, you feel me? Because you yeah. see other cities, you know, like I'm in Dallas, and and you see the the people and the way they move here, and that unity. I I don't. I, I, it seems from the outside looking in, like Atlanta got a some type of just a little more. Maybe they have the the backing, or it, it, it's a different. It's black foundation. Hollywood. It's black Hollywood. Yeah, that's what they always yeah. call it. Yeah, yeah, being honest with you. Yeah, um, yeah, that's what they call yeah, it. It's a lot of A and R's there. A lot of. Um, Big labels there looking for talent, so it's like a hub for musicians. Okay. To be honest with you, so. but it had to grow into that, right? Oh, it did. Mm -hmm. It did. A lot of the um, pioneers brought that apart. Um, Jermaine Dupri, Pre, um, yeah. um, back in the day, Outkast. Uh, it was a couple other groups that's kind of just built and um, made that that music scene possible for Atlanta, and that, that's what it is today. Do you ever see that changing? Because I remember back in the days, it used to be like New York was the place where everybody was, where music was concerned, and then. <clears throat> Now it's Atlanta. Is everybody's moving to Atlanta for everything? Right. They yeah. I don't. I don't see it changing. You don't see it changing. Nah, nah, Another get, city might take over. Should, nah, I don't see that. Texas. <laughs> nah, nah, I mean, I don't see it as a competition neither. But I think Atlanta has got a grasp on it. Um, it's a lot of um, smart, smart entrepreneurs in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? That, that That's they good. got their hand in things, and um, I think they know where they're going with. I think it only gets bigger. You mm. know what I mean? And if anything, we help. Um, the father in city, South Carolina, Alabama, Jackson, kind of build they build up the same way. Where does PGF Short see himself in two more years? Two more years, um, man, I I just want to be um ahead in, in my music career a lot further than what I am now, building steady, prospering, steady going. Uh, I wouldn't mind having um. Platinum song. Already. Oh, you know, you got to speak it into existence. Once she you say it, it it's going to happen. For that. Um, performing, doing tours. Uh, I want to be out here. I want to be out here in the music industry, really, really doing it. Yeah, you've been That's building that catalog. You've been working. Yeah, I ain't got no, no, um, no letting up in me. <laughs> yeah, I see. I That's see the good. videos, Chris. I see why now, too. The videos be right, man. Like, the, I love the visuals. I don't know. Like, now I feel like in music, if you ain't got the visuals right, it is. Right, right. They the visuals got to be right, man. You got to give them what you're talking about. You got to so, see what you're talking about. What inspired that manipulation, man? Oh, man, that was a, um, a lot of hurt. Okay. A lot of distrust. A lot yeah. of um, disloyalty. Um, a lot of misunderstanding. Yeah. That, that's what made that song, yeah. honestly, man. Between... Everybody, I think I made, I had did the song myself, and I sent it over to him. He heard it. I think he felt it in yeah. my voice. He felt it, the pain in my voice, and he was like, "Shout, send it to me." And then uh, I felt it in his voice. It was like, "Yeah, my Deshaun." Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. When he when he sent it back to me. Yeah. And it was all like almost like we was talking to each, each other, other, but yeah. you know what I mean. You could tell it was real. Y'all got a chemistry. Like yeah, we do. The, the we way y'all, you know, the, the the singing comes in, the way he does his thing, and you do your thing. It's a chemistry there. 
right, right. And right. it's only gonna get better. It's kind of like like Pimp and Bun when they or, or, or Outkast. You know, when you keep doing something all the time because y'all working together, mm -hmm. y'all be right. working, mm -hmm. man. That's my guy. Yeah. And since we on Boss Talk, we'll go ahead and, and tell the truth about it. Um, in the, in the song completely, I made the song. I think I felt like um me and him had had a, uh, he had a situation went on in his life. I think um they had shot at his truck and um, okay. I think we kind of went distant from there, me and him, as a friendship, and we was always tight, you know what I'm saying? And um, me not knowing the incident had happened, you know what I mean? It took for him to call me, it was like, shout, you ain't hear about what happened. Wow. Right, and, I, and honestly, I didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean, Although I was there the night that it happened, I didn't hear about it, didn't have no knowing of it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think he felt that, and then you could tell in his music, like when he, when, he, when, he, when his verse came that, you know what I'm saying, they shot at my truck, and um, he ain't even called, I think he felt, you know what I mean? And it, yeah. it was just like, Okay, we got it out. We got past it now. Yeah. We, we embraced each other wow. in its own. You know what I mean? So Man, that's deep strong. though. A lot of a lot of people can't get past small issues. Right. They make the issues bigger than than they have to be, and and and, and I like that, bro. And that's right. one thing that we we teach on here. Mm -hmm. I'm always talking about bringing people together. That so that that's that's heavy. And not to Most make a mis misunderstanding get in between two people because I've heard so many people tell me that they're upset with someone, and I said, well. Does that person even know why you're upset or even know that you're upset? Right, you know what right. I mean? That, that, that's what that's what the situation was. Like, it, exactly. exactly. It was a complete misunderstanding. Yeah. You know, um, I think we handled it well, you know what I mean, as men. And oh, yes. it. I'm glad he picked up the phone to call you because a lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't even have. do that. Right, straight so up. That's straight up. That was respect. Yeah, because that, that devil would be working, man. That devil would be trying to keep your that mind was, that, exactly. conditioned. And that's what was going on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So so when it come down to music, man, I know did, who you say it was UGK that really really influenced you. Was it? Was I'm not, it not just UGK. Um, man, I was influenced by a lot of rappers. That's why I want to know, man. like like Trick, who? Trick influenced okay. me. Ti. Okay. Jeezy, Boosie. Uh, man, who else is that a name? Man, Master P. Master oh, P. More than any any of them. Wow. To be honest with you, I just had man. KLC on here. Yeah. So yeah, he was the, you know the, the 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 drum major, right. and I heard them masterpiece story. Man, them boys grinded. Man, they, when they were hot, they were they they were working. They outworked everybody. Right, right. And right. That, and that's what it take. Good work ethic, man. It take you far. Right. That's why I say I like what I see and what you're doing. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Who would you like to work with in the future? I was about to ask that. You, um, you got me. <laughs> I got some, some people you wouldn't expect. I, I would definitely want to work with Bruno Mars. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, man. I, that's I love, different. Yeah, definitely. Um. That's gonna be a, that. That'll be a hell of a. Any females you want to work with? Female, yeah, um, definitely. Um, I like Mulatto. She from my hood. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I definitely want to work with her. Even past that, Cardi B. I like Cardi. Okay. Um, that, that, yeah, yeah. That that'll be heavy, man. Like man. I say, yours different, bro. When I when, see when I listen to your music, now I'm expecting a message. Right, right. I'm just right. being real. Like a lot of you, you listen to it for a club or just to to hang out and have a good time, but. When I listen to yours, I'm looking for a message. Certain people, you can look for a message in their music. When I think about a message, I think about because your name, what your name stands for. Oh, so man. I'm thinking that you need to always be given messages because of your name. Okay. Most definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So, so what? What, what this is the new project? What What is it all about? Oh man, it, it's gonna be what you want. It's about messages, man. This new project okay. is called Immunity. Yeah. It's hosted by my man, uh, Bigger Ranking. Okay. And um, man, this this uh. Speaks about it's back to what you own, man. It's all about messages. I don't think it's probably a lot of club songs on it at all, man. It's yeah. all about just heartfelt music, serious music, trying to um, express myself. Yeah. On this myself, you know what I mean? I got like different projects for different things, and I think this is one on one. I just want to express how I feel and how I want immunity from everything that's been done. You know what I mean? I did a lot of wrong in my life, and I just want to be immune from everything. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? That's so, nice. That, yeah, yeah, immune from the hate, Different. immune from the evil spirits. Just, I just want to be, you know, what I mean, immune to it. Well, it don't bother me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. Yeah, cause it, man. I'm telling you, man, the mind's something else, man. Everything mm -hmm. starts everything in the start, mind. I was man. just about to say that everything starts in the mind. You have to condition your mind. I always tell all my friends. I always tell everybody because the devil come at you every single day for you to react in a negative way right but you have to turn that negative thoughts because people act like they don't get negative thoughts because when you talk about even like preachers or pastors or anybody some people put them up on a pedestal like they're just perfect but we're all human beings Correct. so we all get negative thoughts it's just you have to turn that negativity in a positive way correct you correct. know what i mean so that 
just stay out of trouble, really. Yeah, yeah. As you looked at me, <laughs> you, you see that? Just right. stay out of trouble, out of really. Trouble. <laughs> so is everything, how, how, how real is everything? How real is everything? Yeah, yeah, I've seen the video, nigga. <laughs> I mean, I've hustled, I've hustled, I ain't gonna put it like that. <laughs> no, it ain't just to No, that, no, no, that yeah, it could be, but, like, um, it's like a it's like a movement. But I do understand, and I do know um, fellas that have graduated from these streets. Yeah. You know what I mean? They went on to do better things that's not involved with criminal activity that no more, that um that that that, that, that uh, take that song to heart and be like, yeah, it, it got me everything. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, but I mean? it's like a graduation. It, it, song. Hey, it looked like you having a good time, man. You convinced me that you might ought to go into acting, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> right, you, right. hey, you had me enjoying myself. I'm like, yeah, yeah, get yeah. me a, yeah. He's I'm good going. at what he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, in, it's entertainment. It's entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> definitely got to entertain as well. Yeah, no, no, music. it was a good that. time, man. See, yeah, I love, I love good music videos. I like, I love them to the fact where, especially when. They look like a movie. Yeah, Those are the man. ones I enjoy more. Not just like the classic music videos that I've seen. I love to see ones that look like it have a story. Right, has right. a well, y'all, y'all got a shout out on Dre Cannons and I Take Pics ATL for that oh, work, man. Oh, that's what's up. That's my film photography crew, man. They they, they put in that type of work. So they, go, they get the credit And that, for that was your that was your image. That's how you it? wanted right, I definitely, everything? I definitely have a big input in directing a lot of my videos. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But they, they, they play a role with me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. As far as putting it together. They, they create the masterpiece. I just put it out there. Do yeah, you ever yeah. think about doing any that you might need a stunt double for? Right, yeah, we got a um, Narcos um, movie coming up. Narcos. That's Atlanta. what I was about to ask you. Yeah, so. yeah, we're working on that, trying to get it, the foundation of that off the ground. Yeah, so um, you you so going to get into the movie scene. Mm, you want to do your stunts yourself? I wouldn't mind. You know, man, I'm all up that for ain't it. no be, joke, I'm, man. I'm, you ever watch Jackie Chan, all the folks, man, and uh, uh, <laughs> right. uh, 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 what is Steven Seagal and all them? Right, right. Man, the folks be looking. What's that, you you be, be, what, what's that one you be looking at? They don't. They they lying. The nigga ain't Ooh. doing all them tricks like they um, say. Van Damme, like, that's the nigga. Yeah. Oh, I don't she like watched. Van Damme. Anymore. Oh, Van Damme. That was yeah, when I was, I was a, a kid. Big Van Damme fan. That was when I was a kid. Yeah. No, but yeah, it's so I crazy because even looking at him when Breaking you were a kid, you loved it. But now, as an adult watching him, you're like. No. Yeah, they break. They break a lot no. of arms, man. Him and Steven Seagal, but they show sure act like they really got a. Yeah, you was what you be you, you. I catch you every now and then. He's all right. Yeah, <laughs> so you gonna get into the acting like that? But it ain't gonna, some action. I'm into it. Yeah, I'm all up for it. action and yeah. acting and um. Yeah. Are you gonna do classes? Uh, if that's what it takes. Oh, you gonna audition and you ain't bigger than auditioning. Hey, if that, if it that would it take, I tried for a role sometime. You know what I mean? Who's that we was talking about the other night about auditioning? Um, we spoke to um, Fat Pimp. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell him. He because he acts and he was saying that um, acting is actually harder than the music industry. Right. I, yeah, I, I can see that. I can yeah, see that. but it's maybe it's, because he's been. He said because he's been doing the music so long, it comes so natural. Now you have to really study, and you have to really, you know, put all that effort into the acting part of it that he's not used to. Right. Right. You have, know? You, have you ever seen like a movie directed and the, the whole the whole situation unfold? I, I watched it. I watched it. I, I'd like to see that. I've never yeah. seen that. I watched it from behind. How, how different is it from a? Vi- it's like a big video. Uh, it's a lot of tapes. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean, a lot of tapes, how long a lot did it of take? angles. Uh, the one that you watched. How long did it take? That was like them? a six month process. Well, that's yeah, what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking because that's a lot of work, man. Right. right there ain't no right. game. Yeah, that's a lot of dedication. Uh, I ain't thinking of doing nothing that long. I'm thinking of something like short, a short film. film. That's short what, and I think so, that'll be dope. Yeah. You how long does a short film take? I don't know, but do? I remember back in the day, like I, I remember Gucci and a bunch of them dudes, even just the little stuff in the neighborhood. Where people would see uh, people, you know, on the DVDs, right. you know, we can bring some of that back in in, in this era and and capture captivate the moment. Yeah, it's, it's going be- on now with them comedians, um, Desi Banks and um, mm-hmm. my man's out of um, I forgot his name, other guy, but they they doing it right now with the short film. I be a tripping. Bit. A lot of people are talking about short films a lot. Yeah, it doesn't take that much time. But I be tripping because I'm like, okay, the way that the money moving, and I get it on the because uh, a lot of people, you know, they rapping, but they ain't really making a whole bunch of money. We know that. Right, they just they rap it, you know what I'm saying? But they don't know how to get that that flow. You know what I mean? I, I be thinking about like the the mix the mixtape era, or how can we get that back? You know, far as in a way to where you can control your your market. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Right, and right. I, if that w- that's that's where I need to go. 
Is it and, possible? And it, it's crazy that you talk about that. Yeah. I, I was just speaking with a friend of mine that's out here. Um, he's into NFTs, and that's, yeah. that's, that's, I think that's where it's going. It's yeah. Why you being able to control your own stock? That, that's, that's, that's it. That's coming up. And I was thinking about, like I said, even the, even the short the short films and stuff. That was a way to captivate, you know, captivate the uh, the uh, get the finances back in under control in a sense. Correct. correct. If you do it right, yeah, am I right? Definitely, definitely, definitely. If you do it right, you can. You can fold some stuff because because your, your creativity is something else. Right. You know your creativity can over exceed what the masses is doing now. Definitely. Definitely. You see where I'm coming from, but yeah. you got to think outside the box. Because if you don't, you're gonna be stuck in the box. You're doing the same thing everybody else is doing, so you're gonna get the same results. Got to be different. Real talk. Yeah. So, man, thank you for putting that song together. What, what inspired that boss talk? Yeah, yeah, man. Stop playing with <laughs> me, been, man. I've Why you doing something like that, man? Too. I said, the nigga and pimped. How long Wait a minute. I said, no, no, where pimped. did you come I up feel with like that? I like I got pimped. I ain't gonna lie to you, my nigga. I said, damn, I done got pimped. The nigga done pimped me. No, man. The nigga come out with the song, boy, come. I did the song already, and then I found out your, your, your. The podcast was called Boss Talk. I was like, damn, let me put this behind it. Man, oh, yeah. <laughs> let me put this behind it. I said, dang, man, I'm going to use this man. song, yeah, man. Yeah, because even the, what you were talking about in parts of it, we were like, hold up. He killed it. I sent it to about five, six different people. Man, you need to hear this. This nigga, I ain't even have to ask the nigga. The nigga just was working. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's why I say the, it's, it's just a, your work ethic, man. It, it, it definitely goes noticed. You know what I mean? I, 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 see, I see it, man. And you can tell the criteria of it is different than than what you see a lot of people doing. Because a lot of people, they oversaturating this market. You know that. Right, right. So And a lot of them suck. Yeah, I go. I agree with you. No, 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 no. It's it's a bunch of trash out there, boy. I'm talking about, uh, I I get it. It's in my DM. (laughs) (laughs) Right? It's in my DM. But I I put respect because I know they can grow. Definitely. I don't. I don't. I don't leave them. I leave them in my DM though. Right. right. But they gonna come out. Come I know out. they come. Yes, out. I'm praying yes. that they come out. Like I'm praying that they come out the DM, man. I can feel it. Yeah, cause we we want to see people get better. So, mm-hmm. do you do, who do you, do you mentor some some of these little rappers or anybody? That, do you help any of them? They um, need your help, brother. Oh man, I got um a, a bunch of um young family members around me that I help. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I wouldn't say in the music industry. Cause I, I ain't got a, I got my young guy um, Double R Okay Yeah he, he he doing the music I, You can say that I mentor him Yeah he's one of, one of the ones I'm trying to um, build And um, okay. mold And get ready for this music industry Just preparing for The things that's gonna be Thrown at him You know what I'm saying Cause I'm watching it Be thrown at me So mm-hmm. that's the things He can look out for But um, I think In all I think I'm just a mentor To my whole family And my whole team In, in a totality you know Yeah I, mean? I think I Um I'm one of the ones that just kind of keep everybody short when we all, you know what I'm saying, looking other ways. So I, I was looking at Track Meet uh, featuring Pop Lord. Who is Pop Lord? Pop Lord, uh, one of my homeboys out of Atlanta. He's a well-known artist. Yeah, because um, I, I, hadn't, I, hadn't, I hadn't been up on him. Right, I ain't going right. to lie. I rock, when I rock, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to check him out. But right, he I, a little different with his delivery, yeah. but he, he, he legit, yeah. honestly. But um, I've been fucking with him for a minute, man. And, uh, Called him, asked him to come do the song, he pulled right up. Yeah. Called him, do the video, he pulled right up, and all. Uh, it's like one of them summer bangers. You know yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Track I, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, yeah. y'all, there they go again. They out there with boy. They got some visuals for you, boy. <laughs> they going in. You know, I like it though, man. I think that yeah. that just shows you created your creativity when right, you, you right. ain't just throwing something together. You really putting some some thought into what the process of of the visuals. You know. Right, right. But I, I be tripping, like I said. I, I think I'm, I don't know. I got to this place where I felt like content was so important. I felt like content was overcreate. Like you just like you gotta have it. Gotta have and, it because because everything you do is in a in a situation where everybody they don't even they looking they looking these some looking niggas man. Nah, nah, dead serious. You know these mean? niggas looking. See. They oh, they see. looking, man. Like yeah, like man. yeah, they all through the night looking. Yeah, you gotta give them. The you know what I'm saying? Give them mm-hmm. something to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these sure, niggas is looking, sure man. These some, some looking niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's up? What, so you want to go through so, that top three? Let me ask you one, uh, one question okay. first before I we gonna, get to I ain't that. Trip. So um, you seem that you're very level headed and business minded, and doing the business that you do. Do you have time for a family? Do you have a wife or a girl? Well, I knew she was gonna go there. Oh, I, I definitely have time for a family, man. Uh, I Do you mean, have? That, that's a priority. Okay. That's first. Um, because it's so hard when you're so busy to find time for that. Yeah, you find time for things that, that are important to you. That's regardless. It. I don't care how busy you is, how much money you get. You're going to find time for what you really love and what you really um into. So 
that that ain't never been a problem with me. I mean, I cut everything off by my kids. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have a wife or a girl? I do. You do? do. That's what's yeah. So how how is it? Because um, I have a lot of people who have the hardest time Balance. having balancing their work life with, especially the business that you're in, where right. females might be throwing themselves at you or in your DMs and stuff like that. How does she handle the jealousy where that part is concerned? Uh, it's a work in progress. I'm gonna be honest with you, not easy, but I'm, I'm blessed to have one that's supportive and at least give me that leeway and trust me enough to, to know that I'm out here trying to handle and make a way for our family to not, you know, stress him out and not worry him while he's out doing his business. And uh, she, I, I, with her giving me that leeway, I think it kind of makes me kind of treat myself better and make sure I don't violate her in no type of way while I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got you. Her giving me that respect, mm-hmm. I think I need to give it back to it. You got you. That's man. good. And because I always think about communication, like I always tell um, the, the guests when they come on, I say communication is key. Right. Not hiding anything and um, trying to put everything out there. You know, have that open relationship with the person. Right, right. That also helps. So I'm not sure exactly. It helps. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, always yeah. got to be honest. You know what I mean, open about what's going on. But hey, babe, I'm going out. It's going to be me and 12 girls. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, what it exactly, is. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. But that take a chemistry, man. That take time, and and it, it's gonna be some bumps and bruises, as mm-hmm. me and you well know. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, um, what what is what his name? What how did how his initials for his name go? Putting God first. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's the that's most the important part. I love I love know? the initial. I love what you have because we always say we put God first. Yeah. God is always in the middle of our relationship and everything that we do. Definitely. Because in order for you to succeed in anything that you do, you have to have him there. Definitely. So that's, that's why I love what you what those acronyms stand for. Oh yeah, man. Like I said, man, you was heavy when I seen that little boy, you was combing his hair on that mm-hmm. damn video. Right, right. Hey, nigga, yeah, he, yeah, you ain't seen no nigga comb no nigga on. Was that no your son? Hair. Actually, your son? Your nigga ain't his hair. No, no, nobody ain't that putting that nobody hair on. They ain't comb. <laughs> nigga don't even go. Where your mama at? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That? You know you. You know I'm telling the truth. Nigga, where your mama at? You know, yeah. tell your mama to comb your hair. But no, yeah. not you. No. you. You giving advice. You doing yeah. it the right way. And I, I try. I do. The, I do my boys hair. Mm-hmm. So I, I, after that vid, thank you. I put both of them right here. Hell, we got a video right after I looked at your video when Charles was down there with you. Mm-hmm. I, I came right in here, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I brought both of them up here and we sat and talked and all behind your video. That's I'm real, telling man. you, I'm, I'm real. being That's real, needed. bro. That's I came up yeah. here. Wasn't no guests. Wasn't nobody on the show but me and my sons. Mm-hmm. And we said it. There he is, right there. That shout out to Malachi. Said behind the counter doing nothing on that damn phone. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's that what we came up here and we we sat around and I told him about the video and I told him, I said, man, you know what? I'm gonna shout you out actually. That yeah, was man. what I had planned on doing. I was like, man, I love the fact that this dude really, really went in. I was surprised Boosie didn't have one of them kids he got on there. You know right, what I mean? Right. I, I, like, I think at the time he was going through something with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that man, that baby mom slumped. Now I met but Boosie. Yeah. <laughs> he full of energy, man. And if he and if it's on his mind, he gonna say it. So he just he like like uh, just just say what he mean and, mm-hmm. and just say it. And and, 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 He's and that's very outspoken. Very outspoken. Yeah, he is. That's my dog. That's my dog. <laughs> so uh, what about? What, but so, I love the generation that we're in right now, where um, fathers doing more of things with their kids, like combing their hair, not only doing it to a boy. I've seen even on social media, fathers be combing their, their girls', girls hair. their daughters' hair. You got, you got right, and I do, I got one daughter. Okay. I, do, I, do. I you know, back in the days, that wasn't shown at all. People wouldn't even show that part of them. No, they wouldn't. So I love the, the way how things are changing where that is concerned, showing fathers being more of a father and right. taking that role on and showing that it's okay to do this. Oh yeah, it definitely plays a, a big part in the, um, in that child's life, growing up, having your father, even having your mother with your father, mm-hmm. definitely plays a big role in a in a, in a little boy's life. Yeah, exactly. Heavily. I do. Heavily. I do believe that. No. I, I, I totally you. disagree. Sorry, babe. I totally disagree when I hear a woman, um, and I don't think I've ever said this before, but on here, but I totally disagree when women say I am both mother and father to this son. Oh no. You know what I mean? Because right. when a boy reaches a certain age. They need a man to show them how to be a man Definitely. and not be, because I've seen that so many times, especially when Mother's Day or Father's Day come around, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm the father. I'm the one who did this. He didn't do that. Mm. But you're not raising him correctly. Not because somebody mm-hmm. else going to show him. The street's going to show him how to be a man. If you, man. If you can't find somebody coming in and feel them shoes, it's going to happen one way or up. Exactly. Yeah. So you come up and you, coming from t- dysfunctional type, 
your father was not there. He he was my he, father was in prison, in prison for a good part. Uh, I never knew him for a good part of my life. Spoke to him randomly, sporadically mm-hmm. throughout mm-hmm. my my youth, and um, before I really got to know him, he did pass away. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine passed away too. But did you have a male role model in your life? Uh, man, my uncles, man. But Shout they out was, to they them was, uncles. The uncles, they was in the streets. They, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> they, they, they did the best they could with me, and uh, you know, I, I salute them for that. You know what I mean? Man, yeah. Atlanta known for Magic City. Uh, what's that other one over there, boy? God, no. Blue Flame. That, that is, that's a hole in the wall. I went to that place. Yeah, and I went to that. Did they close? They, they ought to be live down they there, too. They had to be live three, down Three now, floors it was. Right. I went over there, too. They but closed I, it down? I believe they're doing something with maybe remodeling. Okay. Now. Yeah, sure I mean, y'all, that's what that's what they do down there. When I go down there, when I used to be in that city, I go straight to just be at the strip clubs. I that's, didn't even yeah, want, that's it. That's, that, that's what they, I was yeah. going to Strokers, man. I'll never forget it. Right, Stroke Look, still there. Stroke it's still there. there. Yeah, it ain't went nowhere. Man, that thing right there, I couldn't leave, man. I was down there, I was stuck at Strokers, man. I had a, but I met a group of girls named Digital, man. Digital tried to sell me forty dollars a piece, time three. Yeah, that was about it right there. I said that's too cheap, <laughs> that's man. That's too cheap. <laughs> right, it's a store right across from Strokers, right there. Yeah. And I was over there at that store. She said, "Yeah, we we call Digital." I said, "Y'all got a name for the group and everything." <laughs> it's wild in Atlanta, man. They yeah, they work it. <laughs> I say, boy, I tell you, I ain't no way it's too late at night for this, man. So, so it's still open. Yeah, Strokers did it. I think it was Goosebump down there one time, too. That's closed. Goosebumps they closed that, then. Yeah. I remember all this stuff, man. I was down there. I used to go every year for my birthday. Right. And I, I did I did Miami a little bit, but not like not like Atlanta. I like ATL, yeah, man. Yeah, me and my crew, we strip club veterans. So really? Yeah, we know about all of them. Y'all, all everything. Yeah, we've been all we done warm my Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so thank you for the merch too, man. We gonna wear that merch. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank sir, you. man. It's gonna, yeah, we gonna we gonna do it. We gotta do it when you put put something out and you trying to push it. You I'm, uh, that, and I'm gonna be so watching. So you gotta tell us what it's day like, so we can yeah. we can make sure we we we'll throw it on up. all three of us the co hosts and everything. That's what's up. The kids too. The kids. We don't have nothing for the. He oh. got the kid. You got smiles for the kids. I get them out here. Don't worry. About okay. <laughs> we'll have, we show the whole family wearing it. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. So when you top three artists of all time that are alive dead or alive oh. any genre doesn't have to be rap doesn't have to be rap oh no. this is easy yeah. oh you see this first one says easy right yeah, oh. let's see how easy number right. one michael jackson okay number one michael jackson a lot of people say okay, michael. why michael two? jackson why i gotta ask this why why i just always love mike you like mike spirit that's why you want to work with bruno mars i got it right there just figuring it out uh, <laughs> uh, they got kind of similarities man too far too far Michael Jackson and Tupac always come back to back. Yeah. Most a, of the time. It's a tie for my third. It's going to be Pimp and Trick. No, you can't have a tie. Oh, no. Choose one. Ah. You gotta, ah. No tie. Ah. We don't allow ties. Please. No, you got to make a choice. You said it's easy, so come on. Number three. Chad Butler, man. Man, hold oh, up, man. man. And then, and then God, he changed man. it. And Say, then he changed man. it. Yeah, man, stop you playing, man. It. Y'all better <laughs> stop playing, man. Say, man, I'm going to be honest with you, man. That boy was seriously real. He gets in there. He gets to work his way in all these, all you know, a lot of people. Why Chad him. Butler over the other two that you had named just now? It was either him or Trick Daddy. Oh, it trick was either him or Trick Daddy. Well, why you chose like him Daddy over too. Trick? Well, I, I think um, I just felt, felt his spirit, his soul more. I felt Chad. When he rapped, I just felt him more. I mean, I respect Trick Trick, my dog. Yeah. Too. yeah. You met know. Trick. You probably know. Yeah, I met yeah. Trick a couple times. Yeah. I never met Trick. I, I didn't either. I, that's it, boy. That's that's the killer for me right there. I didn't yeah. get to meet. I met Bun because uh, he here. I done seen him a few times, but right, right. I ain't never get to meet Chad, and I can't go back and change it. I went to a couple of shows, but I wasn't aggressive enough. I, I messed mm-hmm. that up. I met Nipsey. I done met a lot of people, man, but Bobby Brown, but I never met Chad, and See, that's and the only know. thing that really mattered for me. You know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> I, I need. I had some questions. I had he's a Leo on here last week. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. he was with that UGK posse, that's and so he he knew the whole story. He gave his point of view. I listened, man. Y'all like I was in school class. He loved them pimp stories. Yeah, he loved it. Right. Yeah, and I ain't got not a one. See, I won't ask him why Tupac because I already know I why? love Tupac because Tupac is a great. He's he's just great. <laughs> So, definitely, definitely. so, so, Barry, his lyrics was 
amazing. Yeah. So how do how do you do in how, how do you do in Atlanta, man? When you when, how do okay a brother move to Atlanta? He fresh. He just trying to get started. He jump in the city. What he do, man? How he come up, man? How he come up? <laughs> how he come up, man? Oh, man. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm better, trying to come up. Let's put them a team together, man. Better get it on. Uh, Fleetwood just done that. When he came yeah. through every Oakland, California, he stopped by. He said he was moving to Atlanta, but he was with Goody Martin. He know all them cats, so he had a leeway. Exactly. I'm talking about a nigga that just shopped, just, hey, I'm going to come to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you want to come to see, you want to touch down and um, link with some some people that's, that's, that's well known in the city, man, and, and kind of build your team from there, man. Build relationships with um you know people that's already, like I wouldn't come to Texas just trying to just put man, I'm gonna come and be a relationship with E I'm yeah yeah be yeah a relationship mm-hmm. with Charleston yeah and we're gonna work as a unit you yeah know what I mean that's it that's, that's I think it. that's how that works yeah her brother lived down in Atlanta mm-hmm. and her mother we finna be down there when I come I'm finna I'm finna holler at you because we we gotta way. come pick up mother same way you rode the red carpet oh man me, I'm man, coming to see you man like I said so I see you have a team and you talk about building and you see and you talk about building a team. I know how hard it is to build oh, a team, man. a team that oh. you can rely on. Right. Is this your original team that you've always That's had? That's a good or question. Day one. Really? Come on, I can't find no damn body, man. You are so blessed because it is so hard to find loyal people know, who are on the same been. level. Right. Thinking wise, <laughs> you know I can't what I mean. No damn body. I, I got Big Rob right here. He might be here this man. week. Wow. Go on the next. I don't know. Somebody snatch him. That's good. That's oh. good. But y'all family, uh, I guess y'all got some kind of algorithm that works. Right, right. Maybe right. I'm gonna get with you, man. I'm, a, I'm, I, I listen. You know what I'm <laughs> That's saying? good. Because I don't took people everywhere, and, and when we get back, they they get caught up in other things, mm-hmm. right? But they, but they respectful when they go. You know, what I mean, saying? I mean, when we get back home, we all go back and do our different entities and work and businesses. But when it's time to come together, yeah, we know, get together you know what for man? the business. So, because you look like I, I ain't gonna lie, from the outside looking in, that's my favorite saying on the show. From the outside, <laughs> not at your dang house. I don't know where you live, right. but I can tell you, it look like you got a damn studio because you come up with too much music. I don't know where <laughs> the hell you be at. I was mad. I was really jealous. I wasn't mad. You and Charleston and the pictures were looking so good. Y'all video. I said, them niggas are doing me. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Y'all niggas had the dog. I don't know why y'all turned the lights down. They put them all white, nigga. We gonna have to try this. <laughs> <laughs> they put them all white. Them niggas sat in the living room. I think it looked like they was in hell, but I ain't lying. Them niggas were talking. Mm-hmm. I said, look at these niggas, man. These niggas really out here flexing. You know, I'm competitive, so I'm looking. Right, right. These niggas got a damn studio down there. <laughs> yeah, we work, we so, work. so, I mean, is it just that easy, though? Like, is everything at, like, fingertips? I mean, yeah, it, it, it ain't nothing to make a call, man. And make it happen. And reach. Yeah, definitely. That's hot, man. Networking. That's You just have to know the right people. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So is it a certain... How do how do you process the music, man, like in the studio? As far as... Um, you punch you in or you... It, it all depends on how I'm feeling. How you day. feeling? Some days I may just go and just go. And then some days it's just punch in, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking, thought process. And then some days I'm just, like I said, in my basement. I'm just recording randomly, so... It um it differentiates definitely. Got How pro- often do you get inspirations for new songs? Oh man, almost every, every day. day. Really? I thought so. Every day. Every day. Yeah. You just I, start thinking about something. You're like, oh, there it is. I got a bunch of uh, good characters around me. So um, every incident they'll do, a okay. thing that happened within that day, or maybe <laughs> you know, just put a song together and it just okay. happened. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how that boss talk came together. <laughs> Cause yeah, that was yeah. quick, man. I said, "This nigga genius, man." How nigga long ago did you start on that song? And I, 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 be honest with you, it had to be something that was heaven sent because, um, not long after I made the song, he reached out, man. It was like, that like that next song, like, boss talk. I was the next song, so it, 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 was, it was God. That's what they do when they it run was, a touchdown, it baby. Was divine. It was That's divine. it, man. Wow. A lot of prayer going. That's in. when you know it was meant. Man, yeah, I thank divine. God for that, bro. Yeah, that's good. You, the, I'm praying you. You really helping me to see my prayers work, bro. Oh no, the, the spirit is real. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because, because I, I mean, we pray, and and like I say, Charleston, me was just sitting there at that counter, and he was like, he showed me that song, and I was like, man, I gotta get him down here. Cause I already had, I told you to when I listened to your song right. about this little boy. I didn't know that was your son. That hey, shout out that that, that can't that gonna be something else, man. Mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when I listened to it. I'm telling you, bro. You inspired me to bring my sons up here to the store, get away from the house. You know what I mean? My son, my oldest son, was here. He left a little bit when y'all was coming. He mm-hmm. he, he he had to leave and go do something. But he's 27. Mm-hmm. But I was like, man, 
let's go. He he drove up. And we just sit in here and vibed out, man. That's so real, I appreciate man. you, man. Definitely, real talk. Man. That's a handsome little boy. <laughs> Thank you. handsome. Yeah, yeah. So so if, if you had, if you could go back and talk to the um, fifteen year old, sixteen year old you sitting right there, what would you say to tell him how to prepare for what he about to face? Oh man, I, I definitely tell him to avoid all, all peer pressure, man. For um, people trying to persuade you to do things you don't feel comfortable with, man. yeah, a thing that you feel you you know that ain't right. You yeah. know what I mean? I think it would help if he if he had that advice from somebody to tell him to look out for that. Yeah, I mean, look out for that person trying to tell you to jump in that car. Yeah, look out for that person to tell you to hold this while they go do that. Look yeah. out, you know what I mean? Just. Having that advice, that was simple advice. So he was like, oh, I, my dad told me about this. Now, nah, uh-uh, I'm cool on that. You can go ahead. You know what I mean? And, and know to go the other way. Yeah. Because he got that advice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. But as a young man, um, I know men and women are different, but as a young man, and because I've heard some people say, oh, even if somebody told me at that age, I, I wouldn't even listen because I was just too much, too hard-headed or too this or too that. Do you think telling these kids nowadays something as simple as that that they would listen uh I, I think it's definitely about delivery i think it's about who it comes from and even if it don't come from the right person or the right time because like i said my mama even tried to tell me but it caught up with me and, and i came to realize that everything she's saying was, was right so eventually you're gonna it, it's it's gonna recycle in your head and it's gonna it, if she beating it, it in your head it's gonna catch up to you that because i always and feel she, like you people have to, to bump their head right. yeah definitely some yeah. people learn the hard way i was one of them I mean, yeah. yeah, my mama told me about things to look out for when I was still, you know what I mean? And, and, and if I would have got it from a man, it'd be like, hey, little nigga, it, it probably yeah. came out different. So it's yeah. See, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 that's real. Because my daddy, I still, I never, he died, but I never talked back to him. It was something about him. He didn't play like that. Yeah. He didn't play. <laughs> yeah. A nigga put, go upside my head or something. Yeah. And he told me, he said, I'll break your neck. I said, See, that's Damn. why we like to talk about these topics like this, because we use our platform to educate people who are watching, kids who might be watching, so they know somebody might not walk up to them and tell them that, but they hear you saying it and be like, you know what, I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? All right, all right. So that's what we use our platform to do, to help people who are watching and trying to do positivity, really. Yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to keep, you're going to, hey, the tour and hey, all everything opening back up. You know, Atlanta, y'all never did. They didn't never close down there. Right. But I, 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 that was the weirdest thing. <laughs> These niggas don't close like everybody else did. COVID-19 yeah. wasn't nothing to them boys down there. I said, man, these niggas partying down there. I seen that ver- <laughs> versus thing with Gucci and G. I said, them it was niggas jam-packed. Party, them niggas jam-packed in there. <laughs> Ain't nobody got no mask on, Harley. You know? Were you there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. Them, they, they doing their thing down there. So I, you know, I'm in Texas, you know, we shut it down. Right. I oh know. yeah, we shut it down. Right. Yeah, we ain't we ain't go out like that. No, no, we wasn't like y'all. See y'all, y'all bold. But Texas was the first ones to take the mask off. Say, I was about to say, no, 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 we, no, 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 we, we, we exactly. pump faked on that. That was just a pump fake. We'll do that every now and then. We didn't take the mask. The black folks didn't. You know, we didn't take our damn mask. As a matter of fact, you see that woman there earlier? She had that mask, that mask tight on her face. And she already took the shot. Okay. I ain't took the shot, but it's on y'all. Y'all do your thing. Right, yeah. right, right. I ain't got no shot, me, but it's all right. No, y'all, y'all do your thing, man. I'm, I'm gonna stay over here with that. What do you think about that, man? I, I hate to put y'all on the spot. I think, on it, I think it's too early for me. You know That's what, what I, mean? I think too. Yeah. I think it's early. You know how long it usually take them to do something like that, and yeah. how they, how quick they got it out to us. Yeah, I think it was rushed. I definitely think it was rushed. But, it was um, rushed. I pray. That, I pray that it, it helps and saves lives. Man, I, I hear some stories, bro. I, I got a lot of friends, you know. Huh. Five took the shot, five died. I, I heard. <laughs> Right, right. But when I you mean, look by, at by, by people that work on the, on medical right. and the police uh, staff that go out, they told me these stories, man. Right. They ain't got no reason to lie to me. But when you look at the masses of how many people it probably helped compared to how many it, people it, it A lot did, of people taking it. It's more good oh, no. than bad. But what I look at with certain things, okay, back in the days when you were younger, we all got immunizations. Right. You know what I mean? So when all of those immunizations came out for the different things that they were trying to um, cure... We didn't have social media. We didn't have all of this publicity. All right, so we with, don't know. With all the awareness, so you don't know how many people back then died. Because every single 
You're right. We Immunization or Don't anything made by man <laughs> have, <laughs> <don't take a laughs> have side effects. You know what I mean? She's trying to talk to you. No, no, no. I haven't taken it either, but I'm just saying. Listen, my nigga, don't do it. Hey, hey, let me ask you something. Let's let's move fast. Uh, <laughs> the white man. Why you wearing all this white all the time, man? Like this. Why you be doing me like that? Oh man, it deflects, you be clean it deflects as negative energy, man. That's real. Because yeah, uh, uh, I see you wearing. I said, boy, wearing that. So then is I, that what you, wear you that. all the time? Is white? All the time, every day. So you the male Lisa Ray? If that's what you want to call. Because <laughs> uh, you know that's all she used to wear. Oh, yeah. All white, yeah. Lisa Ray, yeah. yeah. Okay. We yeah. met her a couple of times. That, that she was up there, all white. All white. She would always <laughs> up top, top, up top. Okay, all she would wear is all white. white. Yeah, it definitely. Is. Like, um, but I never thought about that. That is deflecting the darkness. Okay. Yeah, I might have to put my white on. I used to wear. You remember my? Yeah, yeah. I got a white side in the closet. <laughs> yeah, I might, yeah, I'll ride with you. Can I, I'm gonna get my white on, nigga. I'm jumping. How in the often truck. do you have to go shopping for white? Because p- people can't always take care of that white all the time. My whole closet is white. Um, but how often do you go shopping for new? Because it the, don't stay white all the time. Right. When I'm out and about, I just I snatch it up. Is this randomly? Um, you like the shop? Probably, yeah, nigga say you snatch it up. Boy, I caught that. That nigga. And you can't uh, find white all year round. He it's snatch it, it up. It's difficult, you know what I'm saying? Well, like you said, when you just you got back stock of white, it's, it's oh, works okay. out. You like okay. that white? Yeah, I do. Ain't nothing wrong with it, brother. I used to do it. I used to kill them niggas. Are any of your kids I, the same way? I, I've been getting my son. He's on to it. He loves what I'm doing. So he's like, I want to ride white, too. I want my shoes white. Daddy, this guy black. This is, you know, so he kind of catching it. You know what I mean? wow. That's cool. Right. That How many kids cool. you have? I got five. Did you say it like that? Five got four. He making sound like he's making like a man. I thought he was gonna say thirteen, nah, fourteen. Uh, we had some five. niggas in here. Got Are a bunch you done? Of uh, hopefully not. You know what I mean? If I can support it, there I'm you go. I, I agree with that. that. How how yeah. old is your oldest? My oldest is twelve. Wow. And your youngest? My youngest is three months. Oh, that's yeah. So up. you're not done yet. You you still got some more coming. Right. You still got some more. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. How many yeah. boys? How many girls? I got four boys. One girl. Oh boy, that's a good number. That girl gonna be spoiled rotten. She is. How old is she? She is nine. Wow. She running things too. You have boys running, running the family, don't it? Yes. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. Do you want more girls? No. <laughs> Why? No. Why? I, for one, I think girls it, are daddy's girls. Right, right. It would break her if she gets a little older. Maybe right now it would break her heart. Oh, She's like, oh because of her. Why you don't yes, want? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Well, when we was up, this newborn baby was coming. My daughter was just been at me. No, that's like what she said. Because yeah. she feel like that attention would t- be taken from her. Right. That's so why. She found that little boy. He was so happy. Is she a diva? She is. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the way they be. They they start off, boy. They start at nine. Oh, you in the good? When they turn by fifteen, though, they oh they go tripping, man. They're get them a car. <laughs> get, them, totally get them a car, man. Teenagers get them a car. are totally different. Get them a car, man. It's but not about you anymore. It's why about are you looking at me like friends. that? She yeah. makes straight A's though. My daughter makes straight A's. She in the she in the, behind the camera right there. She she working. She that's ain't playing no game. You got to put them to work. Yeah, she yeah yeah. And you got to stay on them, man. But I don't have to stay on her. She's self motivated. It's crazy. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably She's genetic. Said, yeah. I, well, from me. From yeah. me. Don't play. <laughs> there don't you go, play. right there, baby. Do not play. <laughs> Do not play. Do not play. So you, you just, know where it's from. Ain't that some boy? You just gonna bulldog. You a bully. That's what you're doing. You're bullying me on the mic. So what, when, when you coming back, man, you're going to be... First of all, how you like the show, man? I mean, I love it, man. Man, I this Boss Talk 101, man. I love it. Right. Yeah, and, and you Good know... Vibe, we, good spirits. I love what, it. What, it been five five months? Five months. We we, we just... And it been going. That's people coming up, in, man. And and it's been, it been a blessing, man. You know, we started it just to get people to come to the store. You know what I mean? Right. But... It turned into something totally digger, different and bigger. And people, I got three, four interviews tomorrow. Um, I'm always got something going, man. It, 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 it working the hell out of my family. I see it growing, man. I you you, you think growing. so? You like By it? By the grace of God. That boy say, he say he already, he had that song, man. This mm-hmm. man, I put it right on in the slot. I say, yeah. Every time <laughs> they get on here, baby, you don't know, I got, hey, I can go whatever way I want to go now. I done had a lot of people to come, but that song, man, when I heard it and I showed it to my wife, I was like, 
man, let's do something else. He done pimp me, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay. We, we kind of putting that together at the same time. Wow, time. man. That's, that's, that's good God stuff. God made it happen. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate you for coming on the show, right? Did you have yes, anything sir. else? No, that's it. PGF show, man. He answered all man, my questions. Man, you got to come back through. Hey, man, where can people, how can people get a hold of you, man? Man, I'm PGF show on every social platform, man. Um, Twitter, Snapchat. All of that. Do you work Instagram, them all? Instagram, PGF shop. Uh, yeah, I do. Twitter. I do. I'm on Twitter. I, I get on there and talk a little bit. TikTok? Chat a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm getting new to the TikTok That's thing. Talk about it. I'm on there. I got 20, I mean, I got 24,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm up. My, I'm out there bad. I got 24,000 followers. Right. I'm going to put my daughter. And they ain't fake followers. My daughter got something going on with yeah. her. Yeah. I'm to work some type of arrangement. That's out. them kids, dog. <laughs> them kids they, that's love that's them what, TikToks. They put me on it. Yeah, right. they'll put you on it. You know your kids will put you on something, right? Definitely. But you know how the kids are. As soon as too many adults get they on move. it, they move, they move something else. <laughs> they don't no, want to be on the same platform like, that grown folks on. They want to keep it. Oh, you lame themselves. as hell. Oh, you lame as hell to them. To them. <laughs> <laughs> no. You mean adults, right? No, right. you. No, adults. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm the cool yeah. parent. You know, it's one cool. Right, right. And it's one... It's kind of lame. You know what I'm Whatever. talking about? <laughs> no, nah, she, she both of us lame. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so, so what, what, um, how, so Dallas, you here for the weekend? Yeah, I'm here for the weekend. Hey, man. Hey, man. It's uh, um, Dallas network, something else. And, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. You got some platforms you feel to be hitting anyway. It's set up. That's and, and touch and skin. How'd you like the? You gonna like that? You ain't with yet? Not yet, not yet. Yeah, you gonna like it? Yeah, yeah that's our girls. They do man. good job. They been okay. on. They they love. Hey, they love. They be like, E, what can we do for you? You always sending us good people. Right. Say nothing. We just sending you what God sent us. Right. That's, <laughs> that's the way we that's do love. it, man. Yeah. So when you frequently come back to text, you got to come back on Balls Talk, man. Oh man, every time I come here, man. I, I promise you, in, you got to come, man. That's, that's my word. Every time I'm. Thank here, you so I much, man. Cause we, we, hey man, like I said, we started off small, but it's steadily, and like you said, it's growing. And with right. people like you, if somebody coming to Texas, do me a favor, throw, throw your boy the olive branch and say, hey man, go over there and check with my boy E. I got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like I said, I, I see it growing, man. Thank it's you so big. much, man. We, yeah. we, we just try to stay humble, man. Yeah. And like I said, the store been there 15 years, but Boss Talk was something else. My wife put them on the ball, uh, put the Boss Talk on while we had to go to work. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. PGF, man, shout, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Thank you. Say, man, Boss Talk 101. Yeah.